everyone, my name is Haydalyn Laco and I am a proud alumni of UCSD from the class of 2020. I know this shirt is not the school colors, but I didn't want to wear the sweater again because I'm somewhere really hot right now. And it is college decision season time. And to help you out with that, I'm going to list five of my personal pros and cons associated with UCSD. If you want to know more about UCSD in general, what San Diego is like, and also what to know about college before you start, I suggest taking a look at my UCSD guide playlist right up above. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and with that, let's get started. Now, let's start off with the pros. Pro number one, it is a beachside campus, people. You cannot talk. Being able to go to a school that is right by the beach. You want to enjoy where you're at. I remember how hard school was. In fact, I'm actually going back to school next month but that's gonna be a whole different video. This school is perfect for people who already know how or are interested in learning how to surf, actually learning how to scuba dive. In fact, there was a scientific scuba diving class. Now you do have to get PADI certified first, but the fact that that's an option, that's honestly really cool. It's also a really great school for people who are interested in dun 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 dun, Scripps Institute of Oceanography, which is the department that I spent most of my time in. Scripps Institute of Oceanography includes earth sciences, marine biology, atmospheric sciences, and I'm sure there's a lot more that I have not included. On top of that, you don't get just one beach, you get two beaches. Can you imagine going to school and be able to choose two beaches for the price of one? Well, I don't know what price. Uh, this might vary if, if you're in-state versus out-of-state versus um, international. The two beaches that you can choose from are La Jolla Shores, which is a PG-friendly beach. It is a little bit further away from campus. You have to take a bus to get down there. And then option number two, you have Black's Beach. And that beach is rated R because it is a nude beach. However, it is walking distance and it's a great place to do bonfires and hang out with friends because it is so close to campus. So while you are struggling during school, at least you have the option of two beaches to either stare at from afar or to enjoy studying at or not studying at. Now pro number two, UCSD is amazing in STEM. UCSD is in fact highly ranked in so many STEM field departments, ranked from data science, computer science and engineering, pre-med, biotech, oceanography, and so much more. If you are interested in any of these fields, there are so many opportunities and resources in order to help you grow professionally as well as ensure your academic success. There are so many opportunities for free tutoring. There are engineering learning communities, the Oasis Resource Center, there is office hours with your professors and TAs and so much more. Now because UCSD is very well known for its academics, People are incredibly driven and very hardworking because we're not that good at sports, so academics is what, what the school focuses on primarily. And if that is something that appeals to you, I highly suggest looking into UCSD. Pro number three, if you are Asian, congratulations, you are the majority. Now, as someone who is currently living in, but not currently in right now, uh, who lives in Boston, I see this as a pro. People from all walks of life want to attend this school, UC San Diego, because they are very well known for their academics as well as their job opportunities. If you are Asian and you grew up as a minority where you live, you're gonna come in for a huge culture shock because you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, my people are everywhere. A lot of cultural organizations at UCSD are pretty much being on in Greek life without having to pay for Greek life because real friends are made while you are broke together. Pro number four, the Mexican food is so good. Now, fun fact about me, I don't like Taco Bell. And one of those reasons is because I was so spoiled living in San Diego, having authentic Mexican food. Now, going to school at UC San Diego means you live in San Diego, which means you live close to the border, which means a lot of the San Diego cuisine will reflect that. and. If you live somewhere where there is not good, authentic Mexican food, you're gonna miss it. You're, you're missing out, trust me. Now the last pro I'm going to talk about, pro number five, 
is that you are in the middle between LA and Mexico. If you wanna to go to Disneyland, there's a couple hours drive. If you wanna visit LA, a couple hours drive or take an Amtrak. If you wanna to go to Mexico on the weekends, bring your passport before you start school here as well as get someone who can drive because the commute to, from La Jolla to Tijuana is probably an hour or so, depending on traffic, which there's always traffic living in California. Now, unfortunately, the school is not perfect. No school is perfect, in fact. And I have to list five of the cons that I have with the school. And number one, when people think of San Diego, they're gonna think San Diego State University because of their well-performing sports or University of San Diego because it is a private rich religious-based school. But why? Why is this a thing? And the reason is UCC is well known for being a bunch of nerds. And you know what? We accept it. I accept it. We are not rich like USD because USD is a private school and UCC is a public school. If you wanted a private school, don't go here. And second, we are not good at sports. We're not that good, unless it's surfing, but even then, we're not really that good at sports. If you want sports, go to SCSU. Con number two is that UCC is located in the rich suburbs of La Jolla. Now I know what you're thinking. Rich people, isn't it gonna be like the Great Gatsby? You know, partying, rich people love to party and stuff? No, 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 no. These rich people like to sleep. They like peace and quiet, and thus, if you are a student, and you want a nightlife, you gotta commute for that, you know? You can take the trolley, you can take an, a ride chair, don't take the bus, please don't, to, in order to commute to places that have a nightlife, like Pacific Beach, SDSU area, downtown, even to the border. The peace and quiet of living in the suburbs actually allows you to really focus on your academics, which, obviously is important, but you need to also develop your social skills as well because the real world is not just primarily about academics. Sorry to break it to you. Now, I just told you that this area where UCC is located, La Jolla, there is not much going on there in terms of a life because it is a suburb. But what about school? Doesn't school have livelihood? No, that makes it con number three. There is a lack of a life at the school. Now, if you want the experience of watching a game and going to tailgates with your friends, UCSC is not the school for you. Go to SCSU and pretend to be a student or make friends with SCSU students. It's not that hard. UCSD just has no, you know, spirit too much just because sports are not our selling point. Schools that are very sport centric tend to be like very spirited and peppy and all that. I think on, I read this on Reddit and I agree wholeheartedly where UCSD on the weekdays, it definitely feels like a university because it is so large and there's so many people. But on the weekends, it feels more like a community college because it's just so Dead. However, you are fully responsible for whatever social life you want to build. So if you don't want one, then yay, I guess this is good for you. But if you want to be very social, you can join Greek life. The Greek life is actually pretty active. You can also join cultural orgs. If you're broke, but still kind of want a Greek life-ish experience or just join like a student, club or something like that and be able to network and meet different people through there. <laughs> now con number four is that midterms and final schedules just really suck. If you don't know, UCC is a quarter-based system, which means classes are about 10 weeks long. Now on top of having this very compressed schedule in time, there is no quote unquote dead week, which is basically a gap between your last week of classes and your finals week. Like you literally just jump right into it, which really is horrible because some professors are horrible where they just decide to put an exam during that time. And then you still have to take the final on top of that. And that's just, I don't know why they do that. And I, they're just so mean. And in terms of midterms, you feel like you're in midterms like all of the time because 
it just goes by so fast and your friends who are in semester based systems they get to relax more because they don't have to think about these things all the time you have to think about it all the time some people get a midterm literally a couple weeks into their quarter and that just that just doesn't make sense and i don't know why ucsd does not provide a dead week where they allow time for students to kind of focus just on finals i feel like it would help their gpa scores a lot better but ucsd just doesn't want to do that for some weird reason so it's more of a con especially in your very first year especially your first quarter where you're brand new and you don't know anything and you're just like oh this is a lot that's a big jump from high school or community college into this fast-paced environment so that that can be a big con if you're just not used to it now last but not least con number five 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 it is difficult to transfer into very high impacted majors. Now, for people who got accepted as an undeclared major and are interested in transferring into engineering, computer science, all the other hard science stuff and whatnot, this message is specifically for you or for people who are in a certain major and want to transfer into a different major, this is also for you. I would only really recommend going through with the school if you can guarantee that you can get all A's in whatever prerequisites necessary in order to apply to transfer into that department or major that you're trying to transfer into. In my second year of college, I actually tried to transfer majors into environmental engineering and I just was not eligible because all of my prerequisites, I only got B's and C's and it's a point based system. Whoever is the most highly ranked and that's based off of your GPA is more likely to get in. Now, I know some people who actually did this route and got in, but it was because they pretty much worked so hard and got almost all A's, if not all A's, into whatever prerequisites that they did. If I was to do it all over again and to try to be an environmental engineering for some reason, I would either one, pick a school where I was already accepted for that major, or option number two, if I was not accepted into any schools whatsoever for that major, I would go actually to community college and ace all of those prerequisites there you're in a smaller class size and the material is kind of it's not as fast paced compared to UCSC where it's a quarter based system at least in community college it's a semester based system and the professors there are actually also professors probably at other universities as well so you can actually network from there and then if you get all A's from there you can transfer to whatever university you want and you actually save a lot of money so I don't see that as a bad thing but if you did not get accepted into the major you wanted right away you're thinking of still sticking with the school and transferring i just want to to give you this information in advance that it is tough and if you think you can do it go for it if you don't think you can transfer out or go to community college. Thank you so much for watching through this entire video. Again, these are just some of the pros and cons that I have in relation to this school. If you have any further questions or concerns regarding UCSD, leave a comment below. I'm about to end this video, so I'm gonna thank you again one more time. So thank you very much for watching this whole video, and I wish you a very good night.